Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate two approaches to quickly create a series of dates in Excel. No need to take out your calendar and manually type in dates. Our first approach is going to use the Auto Fill option. When we want to fill a series of dates in Excel, go to the cell that you want to begin with. Move your mouse to the lower right corner and then when it becomes the little black cross, use your left mouse to drag down to fill the series. You can see which date is next in the series. The important part here is not to ignore the autofill options. When we click on the autofill options, in addition to filling the series, in other words, incrementing by one day at a time, we could choose to fill in the months. So now we have filled in the months. Autofill options are still available because the series is still highlighted. We could fill in years, or the most exciting is to fill in the weekdays only. So here we see September 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and then a skip to the 6th. This is really exciting when we take a look at it in a different format. Home tab, number, and let's use the long date. So there you can see Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and a skip till Monday. Now, in my experience, I have found that many people ignore the autofill option. So here is another way to autofill. Once again, move over to the lower right corner, but this time instead of autofilling with the left mouse button, use the right mouse button. So it becomes that white arrow, and now as we drag down, we have a menu. So if I wish to choose fill the weekdays only, there it is. So left mouse autofill, right mouse autofill, it's your choice, but remember to take advantage of the options. All right, now let's come over here and let's take a look at a different approach, this time using a formula. The reason I'm using a formula is that I have a starting date and the starting date will change from month to month. So over here you can see that this is my starting date that I have and then it's feeding into formulas and further feeding into autofill formulas. So when we want to increment by one day it's easy to create a formula. Refer to the cell that has your starting date plus one or plus seven. So it could be one if we want to increment it by one day. What if we wanted to have an appointment set up for every uh, Wednesday? Well, let's just copy the formatting here. Let's make this a long date. So I'll use the format paintbrush and now you can see I can have that formula set up to increment by seven days every Wednesday. What if I want to increment by one month? Now this requires a little bit more thought. Notice over here that I'm using the date function, but inside the date function, I'm also using the year function. I'm using the month function plus one. So when I want to increment by one, start with the date function inside it, the year function, the month function plus one, and finally the day function. Now let's go through this. You may be familiar with the date function. When you use the date function, what that does is it returns a serial number, it returns a number from a cell. So if I come over here and if I refer to this cell, and if I do the month plus one, then the day, I guarantee you that when I hit enter, I'm going to get an error. So you see the difference here when I did date and then I just put in the arguments. What we have to actually do is include inside the date function the year function, the month function, plus one, and then the day function. Then we can autofill down. So now you see I have October, uh, November, December, January. The nice part here is that remember this is referring to this cell over here. So if I change the starting date, let's say that if I made this uh, June 1st, you see how everything automatically increments. So the year function follows a similar pattern to the month, but this time instead of incrementing the month by one, it's the year function referring to the cell plus one. Now, finally, we can write a formula that will increment by weekdays only. So the same feature that we have over here, but when we want more flexibility with our dates, this is how we create the uh, function of the formula. We use an if function, and then inside the if function, we use weekday. So weekday is referring to this cell, and it's saying if the weekday equals, for our logical test, the weekday equals six. 
the sixth day of the week. So if it equals Saturday, Monday is day one, Tuesday is day three, Saturday is uh, day six. If that is true, then take that date plus three. So if it's a Saturday, add three days to it to become a Monday. If it's not, if it's any other day, then just refer to the cell plus one. So there you've learned how you can quickly increment dates. You can fill in work days only. You can increment by months, years, or any other uh, increment that you choose. This is one of the tips that I share with you on my DVD, The 50 Best Tips for Excel 2007, and I'll see you in the next lesson.